Turning now to other news, we are learning more about that now former assistant principal at Spring High School who was accused of having sex with a student. It turns out there were rumors and suspicions for months before 30-year-old Mark West was arrested. Eyewitness News reporter Damon Fernandez brings us more of the new details this evening. Damon? Well, Melody, parents we talked to are calling the accusations against Mark West disturbing. And according to these court documents right here, some witnesses are telling police there may even be video evidence of the alleged affairs. The man you see in this mugshot is Mark Stephen West, an assistant principal from Spring High School accused of having sex with a female student. No one answered the door when I showed up to West's home to get his reaction to the arrest and the accusations against him. The alleged victim, who's now a graduate of Spring High, told police she and West had sex in his office during a prom event at the school back in May last year. But these court documents detail Spring ISD administrators have been concerned about West's behavior around female students for months. In one incident, West was accused of touching a girl above her lower back inappropriately. That case didn't result in criminal charges due to lack of evidence. The school's principal said at the time West was instructed by administrators to discontinue all behavior that involved physical contact with female students. West's secretary also had concerns. She told police she observed and was uncomfortable with the amount of time West spent behind doors with female students. The woman also told investigators she observed female students exit West's office with their hair and clothing disheveled, and the female students would be smiling and laughing. West has denied having sex with the former student, and he turned in his resignation from Spring ISD on Friday. And I do want to let you know, just a few minutes ago, prior to us coming on air with this newscast, the Texas Education Agency did email a statement to me. It reads, in part, the TEA takes seriously any allegations of improper relationship between an educator and student. It says such relationships are an unacceptable breach of trust for parents who send their children to public schools each day. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we hear from some child advocates speaking out about these, this case and some other cases, numerous cases, similar cases we've covered so far this month. Outside the Harris County Justice Center, DeMond Fernandez, 13 Eyewitness News.